Please welcome to The Late Show, Sam J. Down before you? Oh, of course you should sit down. You're the guest. You sit down <laughs> first always. I never sit down before the guest does. Um, thanks for being here. You're, you're starring in the new movies. We saw just there, You People with uh, Jonah Hill yeah. and, and Eddie Murphy. Not too shabby for yeah. your first feature film. How did, how did it feel? <laughs> Scared? Scary, yeah. So many big hit and Nia Long is in it as well. So yeah. it was overwhelming, but super exciting at the same time. Now, uh, now uh, what does it feel like for you to shoot on a, a film set, because it's totally different than other forms of entertainment, because it's all done in little chunks. How did you like that? Um, I didn't mind it. It was just a lot of pressure, because I feel like when you walk on a film set, it's like so much bigger, and you're like, wow, this is a lot of money that I'm probably wasting. <laughs> right, and you want to be comfortable, but somebody's going to tell you, let's right. get going, exactly. let's get going. Um, did you have to audition for this part? No, actually. It was really weird how it came about. I was outside of the comedy cellar, okay. and I got a call from Kenya Barris, the director, and he mm. was like, hey, I really would like for you to be in this movie. And I was like, oh, man, do I have to audition? Because I'm really bad at auditioning, <laughs> and I don't want to embarrass you. And he was like, no, like, if you want to do it, it's yours. And I was like, yeah, I want to do it. And then he was like, OK, so Eddie Murphy, Jonah Hill. And I was like, what? Wait, <laughs> are you serious? And he was like, yeah. And then. I hung up and immediately just felt pressure. Wow. Did you call anybody? <laughs> I called my girl. I called my fiance and I was like, hey, I'm going to be in this movie. And she was like, for real? And I was like, maybe not. He could be lying. And then... <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> that would be a bad prank, somebody to call you up. <laughs> you know how it is in this industry, though. You just never believe it until you see it, you know? But then sure. my manager called me that week and was like, hey, we got this offer for this movie. And I was like, oh, it's really happening. Wow. Now, You People is about two different sets of um, in-laws meeting for the first time. Now, you you, you have a fiancé. I do. Have, have you met her parents? Yeah, I met was that, her parents. Was that an intensely pressure-filled situation for you? Um, like, I already kind of had known her mom. Like, we had talked a lot, and so mm -hmm. we had a good rapport. But I had never met or spoken to her father. So that was, like, a lot of pressure, because she thinks highly of her dad. So it's like, I want him to like me, because I know that will make her like me more. And so I was, like, really, <laughs> I was really, like, nervous about it. And then he also has a lot of swords, so that didn't help. I'm sorry, go back to go back. To, but <laughs> he he has a, a lot of swords, a like, lot. hanging on the walls yes. and stuff like yep. that. Mm -hmm. Like, honest-to-God swords? Like, real ones that like can cut people. Like, sharp swords. Yeah. And why, and why does he have so many swords? Is he a samurai? He's just into them, I guess. And uh, he likes them as a form of protection. I really don't know. Not as a form of protection. <laughs> I mean, no way. someone gonna... breaks in, you grab a sword off the wall, they're gonna be like, whoa, this person needs business. <laughs> I might leave because I think they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not gonna cut a bullet in half, no matter how good you are. I mean, do you have any collections yourself? Did you share with him anything? Um, I mean, we both like kind of like the same stuff as far as like Star Wars and stuff. And I got a couple of lightsabers. You know what I mean? Well, there you go. That brings it together. Yeah, right there. yeah, yeah. So there's a yeah. bonding space right there. That's nice. Um, at, now, as a stand-up comedian, you're... Are you going on tour anytime soon? I'm touring kind of right now. Yeah, I get ready to shoot another special. Do you like being on the road? Because it can be rough. No. Out there. You don't. <laughs> I you don't, don't like it. it. I like doing are, shows. Okay, shows are good, but the road's not the so road, fun. The road, the airplanes, being, like, sitting by yourself at airport, wow. holds, like, you know, bars. Sure. It sucks. Do you ever just get... Is it always airplanes, or are you, like, driving from city to city, too? Because the thing about the Midwest is especially this time of year. Like, Nebraska, God bless it. God bless it. <laughs> Everywhere you look, looks like just like the stubble of a sailor on shore leave. Because all the <laughs> corn has been cut down, and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of dark with a little bit of snow tossed in there. Right. Yeah. Now, we do a little driving. I mean, my favorite places are, like, uh, Grand Rapids. That was a pretty sad place. You know what I mean? So you like that. Yeah. Like that. I do, it's too. A, it's the reality check you sure. need sometimes. You're like, OK, this is how some people live, and yeah. it's good to know that. <laughs> I heard you recently celebrated uh, a birthday. Happy, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Now, what do you do? Do you do anything, do anything special? This was my first, like, adult birthday. I had dinner with, like, five friends. But you're not, just, you're not just an adult. You're not, like, 21 or 22, are you? No, I'm, like, a grown-up grown-up. Okay. Yeah. All right, but you hadn't actually gone out and really enjoyed 
your birthday? Nah, like usually I go out and party hard, and I feel like that's like a young birthday. Like I want to get drunk. That's what I have to do on my birthday. But this birthday, because I'm like super grown, I was like, I just want wine and a nice yeah. meal. Mm -hmm. What's what's the most drunk you've gotten on a birthday? Uh, if I could remember it, then it, I wasn't that drunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Good point. Can you can you explain this tweet by any chance? This is um, I don't I've I've read this several times and I cannot make heads or tail of it. <laughs> but this is this is a tweet of yours, right? Yes. Let me, why don't you read it? Why don't you read it? Okay, can you read that right there? Let everybody know. Read read that. This is about your birthday. Bro, this is my second solo house. <laughs> the ability to <laughs> in public in peace in several states slash countries should be a major selling point at Soho House. This is truly game changing. <laughs> so, you enjoy the bathrooms at the Soho House no matter what city you're in, is what you're yes, saying. Yes, they're private, they're really nice. Yes. Uh, the toilet seats are warm. It's a very comfortable Ooh, experience. Warm on purpose mm -hmm. or because somebody was just sitting on them seconds ago? Either way, it works. That's true, <laughs> that's true. Well, I know how I'm spending my next birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you. You People is in select theaters now and available on Netflix this Friday. It's Sam J, everybody.